So as Mufasa is laying there dead from the stampede, Simba goes over there and he's he's pushing his dad. He's saying, "Wake up, wake up!" And Uncle Scar comes over, and this is where the lie takes place in Simba's life. Uncle Scar says, "Look at what you've done! Look at what happened! You just killed your father." When we know the truth, we know that that didn't happen. But Simba is so young and he's so vulnerable and susceptible to what the enemy has to say in his life that he believes this lie from his Uncle Scar. I want to ask you tonight, what lie are you believing tonight? What lie did you walk in with tonight in your life? You're probably thinking, dude, I'm good, man. Like, I'm Gucci. Like, I'm cool. I I woke up today wearing my Gucci flip-flops. Like, we're good. But what lie did you believe? What are you running from tonight? Can I tell you that whatever you're running from is no match to the truth that God wants to impart in your life tonight. But here's the deal is that we've been running for so long that it may seem like the truth is so far away, but God is literally handing it to you tonight. But it's going to take some effort on your part to step out in faith and receive that truth. So we see Simba's life continue to play out, and, and, and he runs, and he meets a, a chubby warthog and a weird meerkat, and they make this weird friendship, even to the point to where Simba is, like, chasing this butterfly, and there's, like, a deer right here that he should be destroying because he's a lion, but he's trying to play with this butterfly. So ultimately, Simba has no idea who he is. This lie that his uncle spoke into him completely altered the direction that his life was going. He's no longer the future king of Pride Rock. No, no, no. He's just a lion with no roar. He's a lion with no roar. Now, my favorite character, Rafiki, this dude. Anybody else like Rafiki? Wisdom, you know what I'm saying? He's got a weird-looking face and like a like a joker laugh, you know what I'm saying? But Rafiki is my favorite character because he has such great wisdom and character. And so there's this moment where the climax reaches a point and Rafiki finds Simba, right? He catches when he finds Simba and he begins to pursue Simba and talk to Simba and say, what are you doing? What, what, like, why are you not, why are you not running back to save your people? And Simba keeps saying, you don't even know who I am. And Rafiki says, no, I do. You're the son of Mufasa. And Rafiki says this, I'm not the one who is confused. You're the one who doesn't even know who you are. Tonight, I want to ask you, do you really know who you are? And I know some of you are probably thinking, this dude don't even know me. This dude's asking me who I am. I don't even know who. Who are you? Some of you may be thinking, of course I know who I am. I'm me. I wake up every morning, and I look at myself in the mirror, and I'm me. But can I ask you a question and ask, are you content with who you see in the mirror? Are you content with who you look at every day? Do you wake up some days feeling great? Maybe you put a little less makeup on. Maybe you wear some some looser clothes. Or the next day, do you wake up and put a little bit more makeup on, and it's inconsistent? God's not into inconsistency. That's an inconsistent identity. God's identity for you is every day. It's lifelong. It's living. It's constantly churning and burning in your heart when you know that identity. Now, there's two separate types of identities that we can talk about tonight. One of them is who God says you are, and the other one is who the world says you are. And so if I were to ask you tonight, what you identify yourself with, or who you think you are, you'd probably be pretty good at telling me what the world says you are, right? You've, you've sized yourself up, you've, you've measured yourself with what the world has to say, and you think, oh, I'm good. But no, 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 that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking, who does God say you are? And you may be sitting there thinking, wow, I, I, I've actually never thought about that. That's really awkward, Uh, it's time to go because now it's getting weird and we're getting to the real stuff. Yes, we are. There's a truth inside of each of you. With that truth lies greatness that God wants to pull out of you, but it takes you stepping out in faith and receiving that truth. The truth will set you free 